Hi there, my name is Sebastian Straub and I'm the Principal Solutions Architect at N2WS. In this video, we'll talk about a completely new feature of N2WS version 3.1, S3 Bucket Sync. S3 Bucket Sync will allow us to sync existing S3 Bucket content into any S3 Bucket of our choosing. Let me show you how this works. First, we'll create a policy. So I'm going to switch to policies. I'm going to create a new policy, and that's my friendly policy name. In my case, I'm going to call this one S3 Sync. Now I also have to assign a schedule to this. So this really works just like the backups that you're already familiar with. Then under backup targets, we're going to choose a backup target. Now this is where you find that new feature, S3 Bucket Sync right underneath the Elastic File System. So when I select that, it's gonna show me all of the different buckets that I have available. And in our case, I already have one. This is the bucket that I want to back up. Original S3 North Virginia. So I'm gonna select that, click on Selected, click on Close. And now I still need to perform a little bit more configuration for this purpose. So I'm going to select that bucket that I just selected here. Click on configure. And here are the depot options. So the first is source prefix, which means I don't have to sync the entire content of the bucket. I can actually type in a specific path. So if I want to just perform a sync of a specific subfolder of that bucket, I can do that. And on here, I also have the option to do the same thing for the destination. We can choose where should this data be copied to and synced to. Now I can choose a different account. It doesn't have to be my primary account. It can also be a DR account. And I also have to choose a bucket where that data should end up. Now, in my case, I already have some buckets here, and that's what I'm going to use, N2WS Backup Sync. All right. And the same thing goes for my prefix, and I also have the storage class. So which S3 storage class are we going to use for that new bucket that I already created? Now, I have the choice here between standard, reduced redundancy, and standard infrequent access. And then last but not least, I also have another option right here, delete extra. As you can see, files that exist in the destination but not in the source will be deleted during sync from destination. You might not want to turn this on because this allows you to keep the extra files. So that wouldn't be a one-to-one -one sync, you would actually then keep additional data. So that's something to think about if that's something that you need. Then click on Apply, and then click on Save. And lo and behold, that's all there is to it. So now we have a complete configuration for that S3 sync. This will run just like any other backup policy that you're already used to. If you wanted to, you can even run this ASAP once you created this. This really provides a very simple way to keep S3 buckets in sync. Hope you found this video helpful. I hope you join me soon for the next one. Bye.